In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse from a Mac user's perspective. This is a sleek ergonomic mouse that Logitech designed for those users who have a lot of different devices. There's a button on the bottom that allows you to cycle between save presets for multiple devices like iPads and computers. I got the MX Master 3S in graphite and it looks really great next to my MacBook Pro in space gray. I've really enjoyed using this mouse with my Mac for the last month or so. There have been a couple things that have been different for me to get used to than the Magic Mouse, but overall I've been very impressed with it and I think I'm gonna stick with it. The first thing I love about this mouse is it works great even without a mouse pad. With my Magic Mouse, I would often have to carry a mouse pad around with me or different surfaces wouldn't always react the best to it. The MX Master 3S has all the standard mouse buttons, but it also has has a side scroll button and two buttons on the side that you can map to different functions for different programs. You do this using the Logi Options Plus app. And what's really nice is it has a lot of commonly used shortcuts and functions, so it'll automatically be set up for whatever app you're using, like Final Cut or Photoshop or InDesign or even Microsoft Word or other apps like that. This mouse is also very quiet and not distracting to use. Sometimes on the Magic Mouse, I felt like the clicking could get a little bit obnoxious, especially in an office setting. But with the MX Master 3S, you barely notice the sound of the clicking. It's tactile enough that you can tell you're clicking, but it's not so loud that it's distracting or obnoxious. Another interesting thing about this mouse is there's a gestures button on the side. So when you click where your thumb goes and you do a gesture, it can activate different functions on your computer, kind of like swiping with two fingers or three fingers on a Mac. After a while, I've gotten more used to it, but it doesn't feel quite as smooth as Apple's functionality is that's built into their mouses and trackpads. This mouse is definitely the most comfortable one I've ever used. It's very ergonomic and all the clicking and functionality on it feels very natural to use. I've gotten used to the side scroll on it and it's been really cool to have that to swipe through my timeline while I'm editing videos on Final Cut Pro. I also really like that they give you a button below the scroll wheel that can toggle between a smooth or a clicky scroll on your main scroll. You can also map any of these buttons to do pretty much anything with the Logi Options Plus app. I'm still not the best at coming up with lots of ideas of what to use it for, but I've really appreciated some of the advanced functionality in my different editing programs. The mouse is really easy to set up. When you're ready to pair it with your computer, just turn it on and then hold down the multi-device button on the bottom and that will activate Bluetooth pairing mode. If you wanna assign a device to a different slot on the mouse, just press the button until you get to one, two, or three, whichever one you want. And then you hold the button down and it'll allow you to pair for that certain slot. This is really useful because you can change from using it with your computer to an iPad seamlessly just by picking it up and pressing the button on the back until you get to the desired slot. This mouse works really well on the iPad too. I've never used a mouse with the iPad before this one because pairing it was too much of an annoyance with the Apple Magic Mouse, but now I love to use this mouse with my iPad Pro. Probably the biggest plus with this mouse versus the Magic Mouse is you can actually charge the MX Master 3S while you use it. Who would have thought? They put the charging port on the front of the mouse, so using it with the cord plugged in just feels like using an old school wired mouse. It's really nice because it's a USB-C plug, so you probably got a billion cables that can use it already. The battery life on the mouse is also fantastic. Logitech says you can expect 70 days of use out of this mouse without having to recharge it. This mouse also includes a USB-C cable and it includes the Logitech Bolt receiver. That way, if you have an older computer or you don't wanna use Bluetooth, you can just plug it in through USB and use this mouse wirelessly with any legacy device. One thing I do wish is different is there's no slot to hold the Bolt receiver on this mouse, so you gotta keep track of it somehow. So overall, I've been very happy with the MX Master 3S mouse. The main thing I miss from the Apple mouse is just the simplicity of it and just getting used to using all the different gestures on the top of the mouse versus having more buttons on the MX Master 3S. I feel like this is definitely worth it though because you get the improved ergonomic control versus the flat feeling of the Magic Mouse. The worst thing about the Magic Mouse is it's just really not comfortable to use it even though their gestures are so good. But I think Logitech did a great job making a mouse that works great on both PC, Mac, iPad OS, or whatever else you want to pair it with that just has so many different functions that you can do through their app. The app allows you to change what all the different buttons on the side are mapped to and it also allows you to change mouse sensitivity and scroll speed. 
The MX Master 3S is available in both graphite and pale gray, and it retails for $100, which I think is really fair for a mouse of this kind of quality. It definitely has a premium feel to it and a lot of functionality with all the different buttons that are built in. If you're interested in buying this mouse for yourself, I have links to purchase it in the description below. And if you have any questions about this mouse or something that I didn't address in this video, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Also check out my other videos for my review of the Logitech MX Keys S and MX Keys S Performance combo and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other tech videos I'm going to be putting out.